real me, I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Know they trapped me It's really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices They run it out of options Cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Okay, so now that we're back We're gonna be doing another video And this time I'm gonna be doing another video Okay, so today we're back with another video. Don't kill me guys. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. So today I have a wig from Elva's Hair Company. Today we are doing a little 12 inch bobby bob. I'm going to be doing two styles for you today. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do like a side part. I'm going to do like a little fun. So here I'm just showing you guys that there's little to no shedding and the hair was super soft. So now we're going to get to the melting process. I just like to, yo, you know who, 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 who I got this little trick from? I think it was, was it Glamazon Tay? I think it was Glamazon Tay. Just let me know in the comments. Just correct me in the comments and let me know who I got this from because I can't quite remember. But I actually really like this. I feel like it helps the, like, you know, cap to lay more flat so that it's not giving you any problems when it's finished drying. It's not sticking up all over the place. And this trick here now I got from Erica J where she puts the makeup first, then she puts the gel. Like, you know, the black got to be glue gel. Then she uses the freeze blast spray and go under the dryer. But unfortunately, I'm not in my shop. So I'm just going to be spraying it and blow drying it with a blow dryer. So when you spray in this spray, you want to tilt your head back a bit so that it's not running all down your face to your eyebrows. Like how you see me struggling over here. It's super annoying. And when you got to pull it up to cut the cap, it's pulling on your face. And it, like nobody want to be dealing with that. So here now, I'm using some skin protectant from Lace Grip, the best glue out here right now. That's my glue. My glue. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm doing the little part I was telling you about. I'm cutting the cap up, and then I'm going to go in with two layers of the Lace Grip adhesive. What it does is it helps you with a, keep a stronger hold, I should say. Like It makes, to me... Personally, on my clients and on myself as well, it makes the frontals or the wigs last super long. So yeah, you guys should invest in that. So if you don't sew down the back of your wigs, I feel like using the adjustable straps in the back are like a plus. It helps out really well. And here I'm just fitting it on, fitting the wig on my head to see where on the cap needs to be cut or do I need to cut any extra lace. Like, you know, this is my part. I like to measure it out and see where and what is going to lay how and where, right? Yeah. Then you want to go in and put a little makeup on the lace and then spray it with some freeze blast spray again just to like seal it a bit and you want to blow dry it on a hot setting. So all I did here was just empty the bottle of skin protectant into like a little old tube bottle that I had, applicator bottle or whatever. And now I'm just going in and I'm just going to put two layers. I actually seen Arrogant Tay, like, that is my hair idol, all right? I actually seen him using this glue on one of his clients before. And from then, I ran and I ordered it. I ordered it and it was, like, the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I will never look back. I love this glue so much. Personally, to me, it's like, I don't see no glue out here on the market messing with it. I really love this glue. No, this is not a paid advertisement. But, I, pff, shit. I wish I would have got mad free glue, but <laughs> it's not. I really like this glue, though. And actually, today I'm using the pen form. I did um, order a pen form where it's like glue in a pen. You just twist it and apply it like how you would apply any regular glue. So you twist the pen and glue comes up and you just apply it like normal. So you're going to do your regular three or four layers. So actually, I learned... This trick from my hair idol number two, I am Erica J. I love her, you guys. So she taught me that when you put when you put the first layer of glue, don't count it as a layer. Just count it as like a little protection, like it's holding down the cap. And then you proceed and go ahead and put three more layers. So it's really going to be four, but it's three in a way, if you get what I'm saying. So basically, all in all, you're putting four layers of glue. But the first layer doesn't count because it's just holding the cap. And then the other three layers are layers one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. 
So the thing about this glue is it dries clear like on application like while you're applying it's drying clear so you don't really have to blow dry on cool for too long you just want to go ahead and give it like a quick five or six seconds of cool air from the blow dryer and then you go ahead and you just lay your lace at this point y'all know the vibes what you do on the left you do it on the right and what you do on the right you go do it on the left So just wait till it's clear and then you go ahead and add another coat or whatever you need to do. Then you're going to dry, 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 dry. I don't use the blow dryer right here because I don't want it to get too like dry. I want it to still have that real tacky, elastic -y stickiness to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just flawlessly drop my lace. Look, boom. Press and pull, baby. Press and pull. I'm just going to drop my lace right on top of that glue like bow. And then I'm going to be looking like, you know, you know what? We're not using melted no more, ladies. It's 2019. We're using evaporated. All right? That lace, this, this right here is evaporation. Just watch. Just watch. So after you finish laying your lace, whatever you miss, you just want to go ahead, don't be shy, go in there and put some glue and lay that lace down before you out here looking crazy, alright? This is, that's not evaporation. To leave that like that, that's not evaporation, baby. You want to go ahead, go over it, put your normal three layers and, you know, go ahead, take your little rat tail comb and just, you know, rub it in there. Get it, you know, evaporated. Look. Take the back of the comb, do all of that. This glue dries matte, so it won't leave no white, shiny finish. You know, it's going to look matte and just pretty. I'll be using my fingertips and all of that, and I never get any white, ugly feedback, so it's good. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, dragging it. Not going anywhere. Baby hair. So, boom. I sprays my toothbrush with some freeze blast spray, and just watch. Matter of fact, let me explain. So, you want to take the brush after you spray it with the freeze blast spray, and just sweep the baby hairs lightly to the back and then you want to just go in and just like kind of spread it out a bit so it looks like it just flows right into the hair as you can see here just watch everything that I'm doing here I made sure I slowed this part down for you guys and just take notes okay so these aren't like perfect baby hairs but these are just for this hairstyle so the next video I do with baby hairs I'll be showing you guys you know step by step how to do it with a straight look and this is for a curly look so next time I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do baby hairs for a straight look mind you baby hairs take patience 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 because it will take you 45 minutes to do one little swoop and by the way baby heavy on the baby we don't want grown-ups adults build paying baby hairs we want babies with pacifiers and bottles and pampers those baby hairs Really of a fact, baby hairs is just all about creativity. So you make it however you like it. Just don't OD and be putting on hula hoops. No, that's not baby hairs. No, not acceptable. So if you feel like you like these baby hairs, then you could go ahead and do these baby hairs. But whatever hairstyle you do. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments.
So when you're done, they should be looking a little something like this, a little something like that. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and just take your freeze blast spray again. This spray is so handy, you guys. So you want to spray it and set the baby ears in place a bit. And then, boom, look at this. Oh, my God. It's just so bouncy and just, oh, piercing. Hold on. All right. So <laughs> now I'm going to comb it up. And I'm going to put a little bun for you guys. So this look, I like these looks for like the summertime, you know, like the little bun. You know, who wants hair in their face all the time? Because personally me, I be breaking out. I don't like hair in my face all the time. So you want to go ahead and slick it up almost like you're doing a little ponytail. And then just make it into a little bun. And you should look something like this. Boom. Not too much going on, not too little, just the right amount of tension on you. Like, it's just so cute. And this is if you don't want any hair in your face, you know, a cute little bun and whatever. <laughs> Next, now we're about to get into our side part. This is the side part, mommy. Look at this hair, it's so pretty, yo. I did like this hair, OD. Like, it's mad soft and it's just fluffy. Like, it just does what it's supposed to do. So now here, I'm just parting it into a nice little side part, and that's the style, a side part. It's nothing much. You just do a nice little part, and I'm going to put some mousse in it, get it all, you know, curly looking again. So I'm looking like a snacky Yana, feel me? Check you out, okay? Like, okay, this little big tooth comb thingy now is really a detangling goddess. Like, you, if you're not gonna use your fingers, just use a big tooth comb. So here now, I'm just getting it all prepped up. I'm combing it out to show you guys. And you wanna go ahead and grab your freeze blast spray just to set the curl so that it keeps it looking like that little wet look. It's gonna like make it stiff, but. You gonna look cute? You wanna look cute or not? Feel me? So you go ahead and you spray it up a bit. And here I go. Like, okay. Check you out, Sam. I am. Look at you. Look at you. Look, look. Mm -hmm. Now, all right. Next side. Look, look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Foreign. <laughs> Much. All right. So, you know, I really like this hair. This hair was really soft. It was really nice. You know, Elva. Thank you once again. Love you guys. Love the hair. So this hair and the coupon code to get some money off will be linked in my description box. And you know, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I will be blessing y'all real soon. Stay blessed. Love you guys.